Time now for Eyewitness News. Cultural for Action. Dress Barn is going out of business. Women's clothing store chain has two locations in Rhode Island and 24 in Massachusetts. It employs about 6,800 associates across the country. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell is here now with the details on the store's closure. Mike and Caroline Dress Barn CFO said the decision to close was difficult but necessary. The company hasn't said when the stores will close, but, say, but said customers can still use gift cards and store credit cards to shop there while it winds down operations. We don't know exactly when, but we do know Dress Barn is closing all of its stores, 650 locations. It doesn't come as a surprise because they really, they haven't kept themselves updated. They have not done anything with technology in their stores and they offer the same thing that everyone else has. Diane McCrone is a retail and marketing professor at Johnson and Wales University. She says the entire retail industry is going through a major shift. In the 90s, we just expanded like crazy and we have too much retail square footage. In fact, so far in 2019, U.S. retailers have announced about 7,000 store closures. That's more than all of the store closures that happened last year, according to CoreSight Research. And the hits will likely keep coming. CoreSight Research estimates there could be up to 12,000 store closures in the U.S. in 2019. McCrowan says President Trump's trade war with China will be a factor. The tariff increases could have a decimating effect on retail. But at a rally Monday, the president touted his plan to increase tariffs on Chinese products. We will soon be taking in over $100 billion in tariffs. Very expensive for China. They're not happy, but that's okay. It'll all work out. In a recent letter, more than 170 shoe companies and retailers warned President Trump his proposed China tariffs would be catastrophic. It's not all about store closures. U.S. retailers have also announced more than 2,700 store openings this year, according to CoreSight Research. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Cultural Fraction Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.